All right, so now we're back with some RuneScape again. So we've still been uh, cutting trees, but actually we thought uh, about a uh, hunter, right? We were actually doing a hunter while the video was rendering. So we're like, uh, wow, if we're sitting here doing this, we've seen the hunter person over there. And then we were thinking, uh, actually, don't these things drop feathers? And aren't we going to get uh, five hunter levels on free to play anyway? So we started uh, catching these in between wood cuttings now we're just about to get level 45 wood cutting then we're just about to get level 35 fletching and uh these things so we haven't really gotten too many feathers it is actually pretty slow with feathers then at a uh, level one hunter they're going to escape all of the time so it's going to be pretty frustrating at the beginning and then uh, even still you don't catch them too often but for now we're just uh trying to get a uh, 45 wood cutting here and then 35 fletching and then see what we're going to do so level 5 hunter, that's all done. We did, oh, we caught another uh, bird. So, oh, and then uh, level up, 45. Now we could cut the maple tree. So we got 45 wood cutting. I wonder if there's any maple trees on free to play. Oh, we should uh, set up the trap, right? You go here, you just uh, lay the bird snare. You can buy it up for free from this person. You go to her, you go trade, and then she'll have a free one. There's actually an achievement that uh, you get when you buy it from her. Info, one bird snare, info. So you can only lay uh, one at a time on free to play, I believe. So we only need the one, we don't need any more. And then if they uh, don't successfully catch the bird, then you can just click it to reset the bird snare. And then he'll lay the trap and then it'll reset the bird snare. And then you go back to chopping more trees again. Actually, we got the uh, wood cutting level. We got 45 wood cutting. Now we just need to get a uh, 35 fletching and then we can move on to willow logs so we won't really need oak logs for anything except for maybe construction later so we probably will have to farm a whole bunch more oak logs we do still need the rune hatchet so we caught another bird so it gives us a bird meat bones and then uh feathers so it could be it's in between like five and ten feathers i think essentially what it is it'll give you like uh five feathers or seven feathers or ten feathers one of those, something like that. So then we just lay the bird snare. And then maybe we'll just uh, record until we level up. We just have to fletch uh, one, two, three, four, five more bows. Yes, five more bows, and then we could uh, leave this area. So there's no reason this is here doing hunter, I guess. Then they give you uh, feathers and everything, but uh, you cannot gain experience on a free to play world. We're maxed, <coughs> level max reached. So you have to be a member to work on a uh, hunter anymore. <clears throat> so now let's just uh, quickly make these bows here, craft the oak long bow, and then we'll finally get it, we'll finally get 35 fletching, and then we could uh, fletch them, um, willow, <clears throat> willow short bows, those are going to give more experience than these, and they're going to sell for more gold, so we did it, got 35 fletching, uh, and we caught another bird, so we need three spaces for them, so we could collect that. And we've just been going up here and banking everything. Sometimes we've been uh, selling the bows, but we... <coughs> all these bird meats and all these bones take up all these space. Alright, now we're back again. So we could use the bank booth and we could deposit everything. So now we got uh, 263 feathers from 35 birds. We killed 35 birds. Oh, we dropped the bones. We didn't pick up the bones. So we should have uh, 35 bones. Oh, did they despawn already? So we should have 35 bones, but we don't because we dropped one, so that's all right. Well, there's places that spawn bones on the ground anyways, that shouldn't be. But uh, regardless, so during Hunter, we caught uh, 35 birds in between the wood cutting and the fletching. So now we could go to Drainer Village and start doing Willow if we want, or we could start uh, mining and get the other tools, or we could do fishing. So we do have enough money to go buy uh, bait and... Uh, feathers so maybe this would be the fishing episode so we got this done we could go do all this now so where do buy feathers i think um lumbridge is one and then parts rim is one. Oh, we didn't get the parts that rim waypoint hmm so we probably should do that yeah we'll see what he sells we have eighteen thousand gold so i think we could use some more so let's go to the drainer village lodestone then we'll try to go to the fishing shop. So we'll just check the fishing shop first, just because he's, uh, well, he's pretty close to the lodestone. We have to unlock the lodestone anyways. So we're doing multiple things. Then it's, uh, much better than having, uh, one gold coin. Now we have, uh, 18,000 gold coins. So you do make quite a bit of money selling those things. So I guess we would have made a bit of money selling, um, selling all the bronze arrowheads that we made too. They're sell for like 75 for each bar that we made, but 
You have to get like two ours to make one of them. So maybe it's not as efficient. Oh, and then the player own parts, right? Player own parts are pretty ridiculous. There's so much to do in the player own parts. So where's the lodestone was over down here. So you remember the parts, you had to go do a whole bunch of things to unlock uh, crazy gear and everything. And actually give you something else to do in the game too. So activate the parts, Sarah and lodestone. So now we finally got this lodestone unlocked. I think we almost have all of them now. That'd be super sick. So what else is there to do? The fishing shop. Uh, we're going to the fishing shop here. Right here. So inside the fishing shop, see uh sell things. Here we go. Talk to Garrett. Trade Garrett. So he sells uh fishing nets, fishing rods, sells uh feathers and baits. Okay, so baits are half as much as feathers. So that's good. So if we were planning to do fishes and iron man, it's nine thousand, eighteen thousand, we could go get like uh 1,000 fishing bait, 1,000 feathers. Then I think we have to come back here tomorrow. Can we spawn tomorrow? There's a whole bunch of harpoons I think used for summoning, maybe. So, do we have the fishing rod on our belt? I don't know. Morning equipment. Tool belt. Fishing. So, they give you fishing rod, fly fishing rod. So, they give you everything. In general. So, do we still need bear steel key ring? Smith, enhanced grappling hooks, they give you most of the things. I'd have to buy a couple of things there. But, uh, magic water and can, slayer, a bunch of slayer things, and then some uh, invention tools. Cool, so I guess we have everything then. Let's head over to Lumbridge. So let's just waste all their money because the day resets at 24 o'clock, I believe. So, zero o'clock. And then maybe we could uh, go buy 2,000 feathers, 2,000 bait, and then all of our money will be gone. But we could actually, we could actually fletch willow logs, right? So we're going to be getting a whole ton more money anyway. So it really actually doesn't matter too much. So the fishing shop it was just over here, I believe. Here. And then uh, we checked here. I think he only had like feathers or something. I don't know if he had fishing bait. Maybe he did. We just weren't looking at fishing bait before. So he does have fishing bait. 1,000 fishing bait by 1,000 feathers. So now do we use the feathers for fletching or fishing? We don't know. I think we could do bait fishing over here as well, right? Now we do have the fishing rune. We need to figure out how to get uh, water runes. So those are back in a uh, birth rope. Or we could. Oh, we do have water runes. So we created some uh, fragile fishing urns. Those were the best ones we could make. We could go add water room to the fishing urn. So once we get to 41 crafting, we could actually make better ones. But for now, these are the best that we have. We could just withdraw all the fishing urns. And then we could go withdraw fishing bait, I believe. Oh, there it is. Withdraw all the fishing bait. Now we could go fishing. So we don't really want to use our feathers or anything too soon. Still undecided if they're gonna be fletching feathers or fishing feathers. I don't want to catch anything. A uh, bait fishing spot. It's usually you lure fishing spots, but actually, I oh, need a fishing level at least 25 to fish here. Oh, okay. So we have to fly fish until level 25. We didn't know that. So we got level 20 fishing, 22 fishing. So what if we just fly fish to like level 25 fish? Well, it'd be like super hard to catch that fish if we just learned how to catch that fish, I guess. Trout, we would have uh, learned to catch a little bit earlier. So we're gonna have to switch up between catching both of them because feathers are gonna be precious until we find a way to get more feathers question. Give me a you, give me a, oh, umbrage. Cool, so now, I will just lure the fishing, fishing then, I will lure the fish. Eventually, we'll be able to bait the fish. So here we go. Now, RuneScape 3 fishing episode. It's about 50 experience already. How much do we need to level? Oh, 100. We just need to catch three fish and then we level up. Wow, that's going to be really quick. As long as we can catch the fish. There's going to be little ducks you can attack. Goblins, level 2, 100 hit points. Giant spider, 2, 100 hit points. Leprechaun. Okay, so we got another fish. So now we're gonna be level 23. So they do take a while, I guess, at the lower levels. We know as you level up fishing and you get the higher levels, the fish pretty much come in like uh, instantly, don't they? Now we just started. Oh, there we go. Level 23 fishing. We have gone up in the fishing level. 
we could catch our different types of fish here. Oh, 50 experience again. So we 10, 11, 12. So we well level up to 23 fishing with this inventory. So it should be super quick. Maybe we'll come back uh, when the inventory's done or before we level up or something. All right, so we actually just need one more fish to catch and then we'll be level 24 fishing. We need to wait for, oh, there's the trout. The trout came in. Congratulations, you have reached level 24 fishing. So pretty soon we'll be level 25 fishing. And then we could uh, catch something besides trout. I don't know, is our cook level going to be able to cook everything? Well, I guess we had those uh, raw shrimps and anchovies in the bank that we didn't cook because we were catching those in Draenor Village. So, now our fishing level is going up to crazy new heights. I think we need level 30 to catch salmon, maybe? So, yes, we'll come back uh, when we get another fishing level. Oh, here, and then we're about to level up to level 25. So we found another skiller in the world. He's Mencham, he's level 3. We said hello, Mencham, he said hi. Um, are you, oh no, how do you guys think you're Probably from lamps or something. Cool, so he has a cool thing. He has a rainbow, rainbow cape. How does he get the rainbow cape? There's the rainbow. How do you get the rainbow cape, guys? Yin yang amulet. Oh, our fishing level earn is full. We leveled up. Fancy boots. I think we can get the fancy boots. We just need to figure out how to get the rainbow cape. Combat stats. So he's just a skiller. Three, 33 quest points, so he's probably been playing for a little bit. 24 dungeoneering, so maybe he got those from laps or joined parties or something because people can help skillers level dungeoneering. So there we go, we got to level, oh, oh, we got to level 25 fishing. Oh, and we should get to level 26 fishing after getting this. And these urns, they fell up so quickly, actually. They fell up in like a one or two inventories. So we should get to level 26 fishing. Maybe that'll help catch the next thing that we bait fish. Right, what are they? We don't know, we're gonna have to catch some of them first. So there's a whole bunch of uh, trout and salmon over here. Maybe we'll just drop the trout and salmon, even though the bank is right over here. Is there a cooking place here too? Is there a stove? Uh, no, maybe there's no stove here. So the fish, they still are coming in pretty slowly. They're still coming in really slowly. Right, eventually, in the later clips, you're gonna be like, wow, the fish are coming in so quick compared to before, right? We could uh, compare this episode to later. Be like, wow, Tyrell, you could never, never catch a trout in your life before, but now that it's uh, later, now that you're probably like, gonna be at level 60 fishing or something, you can catch all of these trouts, and you'll be able to even catch salmon later, too. Just need to catch uh, one more fish. There we go, we caught the fish. We caught another trout. Now we're level 26 fishing. Our inventory is almost full. So if these give 50 experience, I wonder how much the other fish give. So we should sit here till we catch uh, three more trouts. That'll be another 150 experience. And then we could even uh, cook the trouts. I think the trouts are only level 15 cooking, right? Yes, they were level 15 cooking, if I remember correctly. So we could even cook them. We could even cook the trouts. Uh, and what about the pikes? I don't know what level those are to cook. We're probably gonna burn a whole bunch of fish, right? But well, once we get to 30, it'd be better to fly fish. Uh, the spot's gone. The spot's gone. Uh, well, we only have uh, one more thing left. We have to go get the fishing bait anyways. We don't want to waste all of our feathers. Well, I don't know if it's wasting feathers. We're getting fishing experience. And then, um, considering if we can actually chop willows and get gold from that, we can just uh, buy more later, right? So, deposit all of the trout. Deposit all of the feathers. Now, withdraw all the fishing bait. Let's go see what kind of fish we get from uh, bait fishing over here, right? Because usually it should be pike or pike or something. Lures. So we have to right click and go to bait fishing spot. And then we're going to see how much experience is this going to give. Uh oh, levels this fish. Yes, we attempt to catch a fish. So we actually can bait fish now. We couldn't before because you need level 25 fishing to even attempt to catch this kind of fish where we actually have 25 fish. We have 26, so we're one level above this fish, actually. So this fish probably won't even see. Oh, there we go. Catch, that was a big, this big. How much uh, experience did I get? Congratulations, you have completed. And it was this big, catch a pike in the river to the east of Lumbridge Castle. So good. Got another fish, so 60 experience. So they give 10 more experience than the trout. Perfect, so we have a whole bunch of our uh, fishing bait, and fishing bait costs uh, half as much as feathers as well, right? So maybe we could sit here catching 2,000 fish and then go cut some trees. Or we still need to get the rune hatchet before we should cut some more trees. 
So we should uh, go mining as well. There's a whole bunch of things we still have to do. We still have to level up um, all of our skills, but all of our skills, they're at a pretty good basis for right now. Did the fishing spot move? Yes, it did. So now we have to paint the fishing spot down here. Catch some more pike. Until level 27, so maybe, I don't know. Do we come back at level 30 fishing or something? Or we just record all the catching of the fish, all of the levels? I have to figure that out. All right, so they do, they do come in really slowly. Sometimes they came in, we just caught two really quickly. So we just need to catch two more pikes, and then we level up to level 27 fishing. And they should be easier to catch. This thing is 81% full. So you can see how hard the pike is to actually catch the pikes. They take forever, but so do the trouts. It's because we're not very good at fishing, are we? We just uh, started fishing. Well, we just started fishing these things. I guess we're a master crawfish fisherman and we're a master anchovies and shrimp fishermen. Well, we're not masters of those things yet. We're pretty good at catching anchovies. But the pike, the pike is so elusive to us. The pikes, they do take so long. Oh, we caught it. We got the level 27 fishing. Congratulations, you caught a pike. Oh, we just caught two pike in a row. You have advanced day fishing level. You have reached level 27. So pretty soon we'll be level 28 fishing. How many pikes do we need? 6, 12, less than 20, 4, 10. So we'll fill this inventory, go bank, and then we'll get the level up on the next inventory of catching the pikes with the baits by Lumberage. All right, so actually we only need uh, two more fish because we teleported the urn, right? Uh, you activate the rune, it teleports for 350 fishing experience. So actually we don't have to catch that many fish. The Fishing urns, I guess we craft them pretty quick, so we did make some of these, and then we, uh, they'll give us more experiences we're fishing, so we'll have to catch less fish, and they'll be able to catch them faster, so if we just catch, uh, one more pike, we did it, congratulations, you advanced to fishing level 28, pretty soon be level 30, right, we just got two more levels to go, so 28's pretty good, we were only fishing level 22 when we started here, right, the Trouts leveled us up so quick, and then the pikes, they're, the pikes are actually coming in a lot quicker, well, a little bit quicker. They came in super slow before level 26, but I guess we only got two levels, so they're still going to be coming in slow. But, um, yes, this inventory will probably even well level up, because the urn is probably going to get teleported. So, before the inventory is done, we're going to get level 29 fishing. Alright, so now we just need two more fish to catch, and then our urn is going to be teleported pretty soon, so... Actually, we're just about level 29 fishing, and we'll get another big experience boost from this urn just as soon as we uh, level up, probably. <laughs> we just need to catch uh, two more fish to fill the urn, I think. So we're still fishing here, so 60 experience. We just need to catch uh, one more fish. And they'll be fishing level <clears throat> whenever the fish comes in. So the fish, they still take a while, right? There we go, level fishing, gain 350 experience. You start a new urn, you just advance the fishing level. You just have each uh, level fishing 59, no, 29. Oh, level 30 is not even that far away, right? As soon as we get uh, these done and fill another one, we just have to get one more inventory of fish, and then we'll be level 30. Super quick. Oh, here, and then we found something, too, while we were fishing. So we haven't caught any pike yet. They take a uh, stall. They take way too long to come in. So we went into the settings. We went to uh, combat targeting. NPC attack option, first option, so combat level, first option based on their combat level, so if we remove this hidden, then we leave this, uh, player, we're not going to be worried about player attack options, so now when we hover over things, we don't have to worry about attacking them, right, oh, there is no way to attack them, okay, it completely removes it, so now we don't have to worry about uh, running around and then accidentally uh, left clicking things to attack them, right, now we can uh, freely Really just bait these things. Wow, cool. So I don't have to worry about attacking the ducks by accident or attacking the bunny rabbits by accident in that other place. Attacking uh, anybody by accident, right? Perfect. Examine goblin. We can only examine them because we're uh, peaceful. We're a uh, skiller. We're only level three. We're going to be level three for a while because uh, once you start leveling these combat skills, then there's uh, so many other things to do besides the combat skills until we get to them. And then uh, dungeoneering is probably actually where we're going to start leveling our combat skills. We have to level combat with uh, dungeoneering. That way we stay a low combat level. And then uh, dungeoneering is super, super easy. And uh, we'll have all the skill levels done already. So yes, dungeoneering should be super simple. 
Ah, uh, then we just need to catch a few more fish. Cool, so we did catch a whole bunch of fish while we were sitting here talking. So we could uh, catch some more. Six, 12, 12. We just need to catch like six more fish, basically. All right, so now we just need one more fish. We need to catch one more pike. So our urn's 50% full. So pretty soon we're gonna be at level 30 fishing. So should we just uh, switch back to feathers just because we can catch uh, salmon as well now? Then switch back to pike when we get a higher level. Is there level 25? There we go. Cool. Congratulations. Level 30 fishing. Level up 30 new salmon fly fishing. So I imagine these things are going to come in faster than pikes, right? Because pikes, they seem to take forever. We're still not sure how hard the uh, other things are going to be. But we could try. We take out the fishing urns. We take out these ones. And then we take out uh, all the feathers. And then we'll uh, take a break from the pikes for a little bit. Then we'll come back to the pikes because uh, eventually we're gonna run out of feathers and then we won't be able to use the feathers anymore. So then all the bait would come in and go, oh, just as we clicked at the fishing spot right away. So now we're actually level 30 fishing. So maybe we could go beyond level 30. Should we go to level 40 fishing or something? Because we still have to cook every Oh, we caught a trout as soon as we cast them. Ca casted, casted the line. We just caught a trout. And we can catch uh, salmon, which are probably 70 experience. We're gonna have to see. So they, oh, they still come in pretty slow, just like pikes. So we're still, we're still pretty bad at fishing. Oh, 50 experience. We caught a trout. And then uh, six, we can't see 50 experience. Oh, there we go. Now you can see the experience better. Because we should be able to catch salmon. Oh, 70. There we go. Catch a salmon in the river east of Lovebridge. Achievement complete. So there was even an achievement with this. So maybe we'll come back later. We're level 30 fishing. Maybe we'll take a break from recording and then come back when we're like level 35 fishing or something. Yeah, I'll give me the opportunity to clean up and uh, do other things and then come back. And then we'll be 35 fishing when we come back. We could just sit here, AFK, catch a whole bunch of fish. And then uh, level up and then come back at a higher level and then maybe do something else do we cook the fish maybe this is a uh, 40 fishing 40 cooking or something we're gonna have to see how long the episode is all right yes yeah, so we just came back for level 35 fishing so we've been uh yeah we haven't been doing too much we've just been uh actually watching the guy fish mostly and then trying to figure out what to do so we just needed to catch a, oh, one more pike. So we uh, switched to pike actually at level 32 fishing. We're like, um, we're using all of our feathers. We don't want to use feathers. So we could catch a tuna pretty soon. But now that we're 35 uh, fishing, we should be able to catch a pike a lot quicker. We still have uh, over 1,800 uh, bait to use. We just used one of our fishing urns. So we gained even more experience. So now level 35 fishing, crazy. Uh, eventually, we're gonna get 40 fishing and then probably 40 cooking. That'd be a good episode, right? We got 40 fishing, we got 40 cooking this episode. Hopefully, that's how it works out. And then we got, uh, we, then we can get a uh, 40 fletching and fire making next episode or something. Or we need to still get the rune hatchet and the rune pickaxe. Or we could do rune crafting. Or I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out what we're doing next episode. All right, so we basically have level 40 fishing. We just need to catch uh, three more fish now. I guess we caught one when we pressed the record button. Uh, but then the fishing spot has moved, so it's not here anymore. So you have to go bait the fish over here. So we can bait them over there. So that guy's uh, evil. He's destroying all the goblins for some reason. Then he goes to cut a tree. So we're just sitting there trying to be peaceful, not attacking anything. And then we're just trying to fish, right? Trying to get 40 fishing if the pike would come in, but they have been coming in quicker actually right because you unlock them at 25 now we're basically level 40 fishing so they uh, are supposed to come in faster but actually i don't know if they are we've just been uh cleaning we've been doing stuff upstairs and downstairs and cleaning the shelf behind us basically while our levels come up and then, uh, we still haven't caught a single pike since we started recording any fishing spot move so this uh, clip's going to be longer than it was supposed to be cause it was supposed to be a quick clip Then after we go here, maybe we go to Alcred to cook all of our fish. Maybe that'd be the next thing to do. Because if we manage to get a uh, 40 fishing here, then we might be able to manage to get a uh, 40 cooking if we uh, cook everything that we caught. And then as long as we don't burn that many of them, so we need to catch uh, one more fish here. 
So now, here we go, level 40 fishing. You've advanced a fishing level, you reach level 40. Congratulations, you have completed fishing 40. Reach level 40 in the fishing scale. You catch a pike. So perfect. Now, maybe we'll just uh, catch a full inventory here before we go, and then we'll go cook some just so we have some more pike to cook, uh, just in case we burn a whole bunch. So, yes, yeah, so we'll just get a full inventory, but look, 40 fishing. So there we go, you can't carry any more fish. Now we go down here to Alcarade, I believe this is a good place to cook the fish. Or maybe Bertha up is good. Wow, well, yeah, maybe the stove is right beside the Bertha place too. Maybe both of them are pretty good. Although Alcarade is the place you used to always go to. So I think we'll try to cook them here. So it's gonna be sad. There's a whole bunch of things here. Crazy level four men, so let's see. Oh, talk to, okay. So there's no attack option on anything. We can't attack anything. Talk to okay. So now we deposit all these, and then we had a whole bunch of uh, crayfish. Do we have raw? We got a few raw crayfish, and then all the raw shrimps. We might as well just cook all of them. We had them before. That'll give us uh, more cooking levels. And then we'll burn less of the other things we're going to cook. Right? We just take them to the uh, go to the range, cook at the range, and we just cook uh, shrimps or the like crayfish. 30 experience for, for uh, each successful one. So we were burning a whole bunch before. Looks like we didn't burn a single crayfish. So we pretty much mastered cooking the crayfish. I got an achievement. You have completed life feeds on life. Cook shrimp on a range in Lumbridge. So it's not exactly in Lumbridge. We're in Alcarid, but we got the achievement for cooking something here. Cook shrimps for cooking uh, shrimps in Lumbridge. Congratulations, you just advanced that uh, cooking level 22. So we already got a cooking level. Even though we're just cooking low level shrimps that give 30 experience each, it uh, seems to be alright for this level. Soon we'll be cooking uh, better things because we're still burning these shrimps, right? We still burnt three of them, we still burnt four of them. So maybe, no, we won't get a cooking level here. So maybe we'll come back, we'll cook some more shrimps. These shrimps, uh, we're practicing to cook shrimps. We just uh, burnt our fifth one. So now we're gonna have to learn how to cook shrimps. Just like we learned how to cook uh, crayfish back in the earlier starting days of the character. So there we go, everything's done. Now we go to the bank booth. Then we just uh, rinse and repeat basically, right? And then get to level 23 cooking. So we just deposit everything. Maybe we'll come back to see uh, what level do all of the shrimps get to us. Probably a pretty good level. Oh, we could uh, click cook at the range from here. So we don't even have to do anything. And then we change the camera. Then we want a bank, we just uh, one click on the bank. So here's the interface, click uh, cook all of the shrimps, and then when we're done, we just go bank at the bank, basically. Super sweet. So now, we just need to cook some more. Oh, we're getting leveled up uh, super quick here, as long as we don't burn any of these shrimps. No, we haven't burned a single one. So we need to cook uh, two more successfully. Oh, we burned one, there we go. Level uh, 23 cooking. So maybe we'll come back when we're uh, cooked all these shrimps and anchovies, see what they get to us. And cook all of those, just because the video is probably really long. It's just going to be us uh, running back and forth and uh, cooking shrimps and cooking anchovies, basically. So we're at level 24 is going to be coming next inventory. So now we're just about done cooking all of these shrimps. If we, well, we won't be able to level up on these shrimps. We're going to have to cook the anchovies. So the anchovies give the same amount of experience, but you can actually put them on pizzas later. So we got cooking at level 24, so we're just gonna cook these anchovies, then there's more anchovies to cook into the bank, and then we'll be able to move up onto a uh, bigger fish pretty soon. So basically these are just the uh, small fish that we're cooking. Uh, if we cook an inventory, we should get to level 25, so we burnt uh, one of the anchovies. Let's go get some more, the bank is just over here. Go to the bank, we can click it just by doing this, and we go to the bank. So all of our shrimps have been cooked. We cooked uh, as many shrimps as we could. We don't have any more raw shrimps. We still do have some raw anchovies though, 31 of them, so one inventory. And then now we just need to cook uh, two more anchovies, one more anchovies, and then we're level 25 cooking. Wow, level 25 came so quick. I think we started at like level 21 or 22 cooking. What did we start at? 22 cooking, I think. Okay, it was 21, 25, 24, 23. Maybe it was 22 we started, but now we're already level 25. 
need to go bake some more shrimp and then uh, cook some more so we burnt up four of the anchovies so now we should be able to start cooking a better fish we got a 25 cooking we could probably definitely take better ones so we got three raw anchovies and uh, what other raw fishes in here just the trouts and the pikes and a couple of salmons so the trouts are going to give a whole lot more experience i believe not sure how much experience they're going to get but we're going to find out Probably gonna bring us uh, all the way to level 26 and beyond. As long as we don't burn any. So these things, anchovies and shrimps and crayfish, they give 30 experience. And then the trouts, they give uh, 70 experience. Oh wow, 70 experience. And they're worth uh, 20 to the vendor. So just one fish is worth 20. Because we buy the feathers for 6 GP. We sell the fish for, I don't know, what did they sell for? Examine the raw ones. Uh, raw ones sell for 6. Cook one sell for 20. Oh, neat. So we could just buy feathers, sell the fish, and then we could uh, buy more feathers with them. Oh, neat. Now we're gonna be level 26. We just need to cook uh, one more trout successfully. There we go. 26 cooking. Pretty soon we we'll level 27 cooking. Maybe even this inventory? No, maybe not. Yeah, it'll be next inventory. So now we're back to cook another load of trout. We got uh, 28 of them. We just need to cook uh, seven. And just like two of them do level up. Then we'll be level 27. I think we burnt one. Yep. Level 27 cooking. So maybe we can get 7,400. Oh, we can get to level 28 cooking. Oh, never mind. We're gonna burn them. That's right. So if we didn't burn that many of the trouts, maybe we can actually get there. We just need to cook like uh, 11 of them. So there we go. Oh, yes. 26. And then uh, level 27 cooking. Now, as long as we can cook these successfully, we'll be level 28 cooking, and then that's pretty close to level 30 cooking already. So are we going to be able to go to 40? Nobody knows. I don't think, I think we had a whole bunch of uh, pike in the bank. I don't think we caught too many trouts. So we just burned five of them, so we're still burning a lot of them. I thought that we just burned six of them. No, not the other one. Seven of them. Seven of these trouts are burned. Nobody could eat those trouts. No, we, no, we burnt another one. Let's see, we cooked another one. We need to cook one of these trouts. There we go. Now we actually did get to level 28 cooking. We successfully got to level 28. And uh, oh, the next inventory will bring us to level 29 cooking. So we just have to continue cooking the trouts. So we burnt them, eight of them, so that's not good. So we still have 33 trouts with 374 pikes. It's going to be a whole lot of cooking experience. So we just bring these back over here, cook some more raw trouts. That should bring us to 29 cooking. We just have to cook uh, one more of the trouts, and then we'll be cooking more cooking. We're getting really good at cooking trout right before we burned um, eight of them. This time we only burned um, nine of them. So we're definitely getting better at cooking. I thought we just needed to cook one more to level up. There we go, we finally successfully. So must have burnt a whole bunch of trouts in a row. We burnt, we burnt one, two, three, four. So we just burnt like six trouts in a row when we started recording. So now we're at level 29 cooking. If we can cook another inventory of fish, we'll be level 30 cooking. So then now we can actually try to attempt to cook the pikes that give 80 experience. They're only worth uh, 7 coins each. Why is the trout worth so much more? 7 coins. Oh, 80 experience. I don't know. We'll try cooking some of the pikes and then we'll get to level 30 cooking. And then the episode's ready over 30 minutes long. So we probably shouldn't record too much more. This will probably just be the... 35 fletching, 45 uh, wood cutting, 40 fishing, 30 cooking episode. I'll render it and then probably we're gonna do some uh, smithing in between, right? So we were level 40 smithing. I think we're just gonna go smith a whole bunch of uh, mithril to try to get closer to the rune pickaxe and the rune hatchet while we're rendering the video. Plus, uh, that gives us an opportunity to go downstairs and clean the basement because uh, smithing it takes so long in this game, right? To get the experience all right, uh, but. You're gonna be smithing there for like uh, 10 or 20 minutes per inventory, so it really takes forever to smith, but it's a uh, super AFK, so you just tell them to smith a whole bunch of things and then go do other things. Although I guess it would have uh, smith longer if you were smithing bigger projects like chest plates and stuff. There we go, now we're level 30 cooking. So I think we're going to end here, and then uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, teleport to the place to show what we're doing before we end the episode. So got a whole bunch of cooking levels, a whole bunch of fishing levels. So we teleport home to Bertho, the place where you start at the very starting of the game. 
that's uh, probably where we're gonna go to do some uh, smithing to try to get closer to level 50 so maybe we'll get to level 45 smithing and then we'll have to smith or go mine some more adamant and actually create some adamant stuff so what was in the bank was there anything smithing related in here uh, silver you can't deposit that or anything so i don't think we needed anything do we have a smelting urn maybe here we go so now that we got all of these cooking and fishing levels and fletching and fire making and uh, wood cutting levels done now we should uh, work on our smithing again just because it's uh, super afk and we're gonna be afk for quite a while so how many adamant bars do we make only nine of them all right but uh metro bars we can make a whole bunch of them right 138 metro bars so we could uh begin project making metro bars so just like before in the other smithing episodes we're gonna be doing this here Basically, smithing has been reworked. Basically, smithing is amazing. This is all of your ores. You can deposit them into the furnace itself. And then you can go like, ah, oh, deposit all into here. And then your inventory is clear. And then you can smelt some more. And then you don't even have to go back to the bank or anything. And then down here, right, when you actually want to smithy things, you go open smithing interface. And then you go to mithril bars. And then probably just make a whole bunch more mithril arrowheads. Then you begin the projects and then you smith them so maybe we'll just uh, make one project since we're gonna be afk and then you go to the smith and then it just starts uh, smithing your mithril arrowheads for you so it looks like it does uh five percent progress so 60 xp so it takes a long time you could uh, fill up your inventory with these things and then basically afk for like 20 or 30 minutes and he will just uh make everything for you while you leave the computer and go away for five minutes and do something else and then uh, come back in to log your character back in again uh, then uh, go back away for five minutes doing something else away from the computer again so smithing yes we did all these other things now we're gonna try to do smithing and get back on off try to get the rune items finally